When you read, you probably imagine your eyes moving in a smooth line from left to right, line by line. You might occasionally decide to go back to reread something. In fact, your eyes are doing something quite different. They're moving in a series of jumps called saccades, and in between the saccades are pauses called fixations. Psychologists have learned a lot about reading by measuring the pattern of fixation and saccades as people read. We measure people's eye movements as they read using an eye tracker. Our eye tracker has a video camera that records exactly where the eyes are looking every millisecond. As you can see, Eleanor's chin is resting comfortably on the chin rest. The tracker is located underneath the computer monitor, looking up at her eyes. It's completely harmless and she's able to read perfectly normally. We can now see what Eleanor's eyes are doing as she reads. Without even realising it, she'll be spending longer looking at parts of the sentence that are more difficult. And she'll also go backwards and forwards as she puts together ideas and makes connections between different parts of the text. Here we can see what we call a scan path of Eleanor reading this text. We can see that some words are fixated more often and for longer. We can also see that when she reaches the word her in the second sentence, they regress backwards and refixate on the word bird, indicating she is making a connection between the pronoun her and what it refers to, the bird. By constructing texts that vary in different ways and then aggregating data from lots of children, we are able to understand more about how children read and why comprehension sometimes goes wrong. As skilled readers, we barely notice the complexity of what we do as we read. By measuring people's eye movements as they read, silently and naturalistically, we have a window into the complexities of what we do when we read. And this will help us to understand how best to teach reading and how best to support people who might find reading difficult.